Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of September 13, 2024, a Friday. So the events continue as we pretty much forecasted. We didn't really get a much of a pullback here on the ES. It just seems to be marching forward with an obvious area here, 5,700 as a target. The first big fence here or potential resistance is 5,650s, you see. So make sure you tighten your stop or take partial profits there. And we're likely to visit 5,700. But of course, never do we have guarantees in this business for anything. We always think in probabilities. Price action, however, and the price rejection as we discussed today, strongly point to the upside, of course. And that's all we need, basically. We don't need to overcomplicate this. NQ, same story. Look at this. No pullback. And uh, probably this will just turn into a stampede. At least, well, everything is relative. We're just targeting the upper Keltner in a first step, and then we'll see the rest. All right, now just one warning, pretty good setups on currencies, but the contract, as you can see, expire at midnight today. If you don't want to be bothered with rolling over positions, then just wait for the new contract to open or trade the new contract directly as of now. In any case, be on the lookout for these beautiful complex pullbacks here on the daily. And the 6B is also moving, all of them are moving basically. So. The original patterns are emerging or re-emerging, which is good news. Okay, and on to precious metals, which, of course, have triggered at least gold, big time. Look at this. Go back a couple of days if you haven't seen the video, but probably, hopefully, you all have now. And also the failure test in the past, and now we are convincingly in a long trade on the daily. And the SI is also moving Look at this. So whichever way you treat this, four-hour chart, daily chart, weekly chart, ETFs, futures, whichever format you want to deal with this, this is an opportunity. Consider what's the best way for you to do something with this. Okay, and last but not least, we have some things going on. Agricultural, ZW, hasn't really moved today, but the setup is valid if you have been triggered into this well you just have to manage it i think it still looks good nothing to worry about really on the daily and zo was the other one which didn't really even stop to take a break if i can find this here we go zo oats has exceeded the one r we have another algorithmic signal on the four hour chart and perhaps 400 i don't know i'm don't claim to be an expert on this market so if you're long here Try to protect yourself with a stop, hopefully within your entry. So the stop would be probably on the four hour chart below this candle here. And if we get stopped out, we get stopped out. If it keeps going towards 400, then good for us. Whatever the reason was yesterday or two days ago for these uh, abrupt price rejections, whether it was the CPI news or whatever news came out or the presidential debate, Whatever it was, we'll never know for sure. That's the first thing. Second, nor do we have to know as technical traders. We just trade price action. And as you know, even in these videos or in the meetings, I never mention any other factors only except for price action. And that's all we need really to do this job. And this makes this job really beautiful. All right. So here we are now. And uh, we'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.